What is going on tonight, guys? Mike here with Mike Auto's Garage. Tonight, we are going to be working on my mom's 99 Buick Park Avenue. We're going to be doing the driver's side blend door. So this is just going to be the, the temperature blend door to switch between hot and cold, I believe. I, I don't think it changes where the air blows out. I believe that is a, a separate one. Um, this video is not sponsored in any way, um, but the new blend door box that I, I got here is the Ultra Power 604111. Uh, I got this through Rock Auto. It was it was dirt cheap. It was less than 20 bucks. Um, and guys, this is it's going to be pretty easy to get this put in. First thing you're going to need to do is I would recommend running the seat all the way back. In this case, this one is. And then I would recommend getting your steering column all the way up. Um, and then you're going to either take a hex socket or in this case, I'm just going to use a Phillips screwdriver up underneath here, guys. You can see we got our OBD port up underneath here, though. There's going to be three screws just right along this plastic piece. And there's the third one there. So we're going to start by taking those three screws off. Alrighty, guys. So the socket that we're going to need is a 732nd and if we take a look at the new part we can see that it's got three mounting screws okay so that'll be good to help us i believe this is roughly the orientation it's in so now we just need to get those out all right so once you got the three phillips screws out you can see this panel is just going to drop down we just need to unplug the three wires at least I got three. This is the base model Park Avenue. And then we can get this panel removed. All right, you guys can see the wiring harness right there. So we need to get that unplugged. All right, guys. So I ended up having to remove that black panel uh, towards the beginning there uh, through the power and magic of editing. You guys should have already removed. Oh, let's see if I can get you in focus here. Alright, so it ended up only being two mounting screws, at least on mine. I, I doubt this has been replaced uh, before. Oh, it might have. But I just had one here and then one right up there on the back side. Uh, let me see if I can get you guys. So it's just right up on the back, on the back side, right next to this uh looks like some kind of an air pipe or something. So this has enough enough give to her that I was able to get it out. Uh, we got the wiring undone, so at this point we should just be able to grab it and slide it off. Hopefully it's got that shaft uh, up at the top there. So let's see if we can wrestle it out. Alright guys, I think this is going to be a two-hander. Alrighty guys, so I got the old one out. It was just enough room, I mean just enough room to slip this thing out with two hands. Uh, I went ahead and pulled the four uh, Phillips screws out of the top just to see why this one failed. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of plastic little gears in here. Uh, usually what happens is one of these gears will just break uh, due to old age and use. Although on this one, the gears are looking all right. So it might have a motor problem or something on the circuit board, either with one of these chips. Or it looks like uh, this blue gear uh, reads the position. Um, probably back into the circuit board so could have some issue going on with that because um, it was stuck on either full heat or like marginal heat it never would go to ac so at this point um, you just go ahead and reverse it putting the new one in there is no is no magic uh, thing to do you just throw them in um, and then the first time you turn it on you want to cycle between hot and cold or just you, some of the cars, if you just turn the key on, it'll cycle it f automatically and it'll rehome these. There is um, no special position you need to put them in. So hopefully this helped you out, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If it did help you out, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, trying to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. Um, I know it's just a little off the hip video, but it'll hopefully help one of you guys out. So thanks for watching. All right, guys, my initial inspection was wrong. I went to pull this gear out, and you can actually see how it's cracked in several spots. So that's going to allow the gear to slip from this metal shaft. So that's why it would kind of work and kind of not 